As cities ask homeowners to conserve water, it is bringing up questions about how we get our water in the first place. Tom from St. Cloud and Nancy from Udina asked, how do water towers work? Good question. Heather Brown went high above for answers. So that was quite a trip up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how high are we? About 180 feet off the ground. It took us about 20 minutes. This is a fall arrester. If you take a dive, uh -huh. it'll save you. Up the ladder. This is intense. Inside the tower. <laughs> to stand on top of a million gallons of water. This water tower serves the city of Egan, portions of Invergrove Heights. And you can see Thompson Riders yeah. over there. So why do we have water towers? So water towers have two primary purposes. One is for pressure. You need to store it up high, so essentially the gravity creates that pressure. Yep. And that's how we get the strong showers, the right. water coming out of our faucets. Yep. The second thing that we do is primarily for storage and for fire protection. So it allows us a buffer during day when demands get really high. Why can't we just store it all on the ground? Most of it's space. Where would they store the treated water? And what would it cost to pump? So part of this is saving the public a significant amount of money by just storing it up high and let nature do the work. And no matter where you get your water from, the water towers work the same. Right, yep, it's a network of pipes. Where the water is pumped through. It's a very simple system. Let's go inside on the ground for the rest of this explanation. Water comes in from a big pipe outside into this, then what happens? Yep, through the floor, the pipe just goes straight up to the bottom of the bowl. So it's just one pipe. There's not an yep. up and a down. Yep. There's no up and down, no hot and cold. It's and just can, a single pipe. This is a question I get all the time. Why doesn't the water freeze in the winter? And is it because it's just constantly being pumped? Yeah. So that's a, actually, that's a great question. The reason why it doesn't freeze is we purposefully cycle the water in the towers up and down. Depending on demand, the water in this tower often turns over five times a day. Does the drought affect how much water is in the tower? Nope. The drought really doesn't affect what's in the tower. What the drought really affects is our source water. So we're constantly watching what the underground water levels are, the aquifer levels. One final question, and that is, why doesn't it have that beautiful City of Egan sign on the side? Because it's in Invergrove Heights. <laughs> Atop the Egan Tower. Because we all share. Yeah. In Invergrove Heights. Exactly. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. A very brave Heather Brown. Now these towers are monitored 24 hours a day and alarms sound any time a door opens. Egan City crews do make the climb about once a month for security reasons to make sure that everything is working smoothly and to check on the airplane avoidance lights that shine up there. If you have a good question for Heather, email her by visiting WCCO.com links.